Hi, this is Lara at Elliott Wave Stock Market with a Dow analysis for you for the trading session dated Tuesday, 10th of May. I'm recording this video very early in the morning, New York time on Wednesday the 11th, before markets open. This is my main wave count for the Dow on a daily chart. I'm expecting that we're getting towards the end of intermediate degree C wave to end a zigzag for primary two. Within this final fifth wave at minor degree to end this intermediate degree impulse for wave C, we may be getting towards the end of it. We have a one, two, three, four probably over and working on the final fifth wave upwards. Alternately, and when we have this main wave count that sees the end of wave four pink is over, alternately we may move the degree of labelling within this piece of movement all down one degree and then we would have one, two and within wave three pink, one, two. At that stage the invalidation point would move down to here 12,093.89 because wave 2 green may not move beyond the start of wave 1. So that's another possibility that we may be seeing an extended third wave develop here. At this stage I'll leave the labelling as is until we have a confirmation of the end of this correction and then I'll run an alternate alongside it. At this stage I'll leave my target as it is at 13,072.46 points, that's where wave 5 blue will reach 0.618 the length of wave 3 and we would expect the end of this fifth wave to come to end around about the upper edge of this big wide parallel channel here on the daily chart. If the upper end of this small pink channel coincides and crosses over the upper end of this big blue channel that may be where upwards movement comes to end. Primary 2 may not move beyond the start of 1. Movement above 14,198.1 points would invalidate this wave count. I have two hourly wave counts looking at the possibility of this correction being over or it may just be wave A within wave 4 pink. Taking you to the first of my two hourly wave counts where the high for 3 and the low for 4 down here is here and here. This is my main wave count because I think it has a better fit specifically this little piece of movement. When I look at this on a 15 minute chart it's much easier to see a complete impulse from this high to this low. Trying to incorporate this piece of movement into a 5 wave impulse is fairly difficult. Technically just possible I guess but fairly difficult. So this wave count despite at first glance the alternate seemingly having a better look I think this one actually has a better fit and I think it's more likely that we have had an end to a simple zigzag for either wave 4 pink or if we move the degree of labelling all here down one degree for wave 2 green. With this labelling as it is, if we have a zigzag over here for wave 4 pink, there is no alternation between waves 2 and 4 pink. They're both zigzags and both correcting to just over the 0.382 ratio. However, if we move the degree of labelling here all down one degree, then the problem of a lack of alternation is removed. At this stage I'll just leave it as it is until the end of the correction is confirmed with price movement above 12,876 and then I'll look at the possibility of a different degree of labelling. Just for simplicity's sake I don't want to have too many wave counts for you today. So if this correction, whatever degree we label it, was over here then wave C is just 12.95 points longer than 0.618 the length of wave A and within wave A, wave 3 orange has no ratio to wave 1, but wave 5 is 17.6 short of equality with 3. Not too close to equal, it's a little bit far off, but reasonable, considering it's over 150 points in length. Within this upwards movement we have a strong first wave and a second wave, and an impulse unfolding for a third wave. We have 1, 2, an extended third wave, a brief fourth wave. If it's over here, then we may be seeing a fifth wave develop to the upside to start tomorrow's session. If it reaches equality with the first, it'll take price up to 12,822.41. If we see a little bit of downwards movement first, then obviously this target will be incorrect and must be recalculated. Any further downwards movement for wave 4 orange may not move into wave 1 orange price territory. In the short term this wave count is invalidated with movement below 12,669.65 points. When the fifth wave is over we'll be looking out for another fourth wave correction which at that stage may not move into this wave 1 price territory. At that stage we can move the invalidation point from down here up to here. 
and so on will be expecting further upwards movement. This main wave count on the hourly chart may be considered confirmed if we see price move above 12,876 because that's where this alternate would be invalidated. It's all the same up to here and then instead of wave 4 pink over here we may have had a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 wave structure down for wave A green within wave 4 pink and an ABC zigzag for wave B almost complete. The C wave needs one more upwards wave to satisfy an impulsive structure. I like this wave count less for the treatment of this little piece of movement. Like I said, it's difficult from this high to this low to see a satisfactory impulse complete here for a third wave. Although at first glance we would want to label it like this and it does at first glance have a better fit, I don't think this fits. However, it may just be possible, you may be seeing a little bit more upwards movement for a C wave to end wave B green and then a final downwards 5 wave structure for another C wave to end wave 4 pink. Alternately, we could move the labelling of this whole thing all down 1 degree and we'd have green 1 and green 2 would be A, B, C. If that's the case, then the invalidation point down here would be incorrect and it would have to be 12,093.89 points. So if this wave count is invalidated by downwards movement, the next invalidation point will sit at 12,093.89 points and I expect that that one should not be breached. This wave count expects one more little upwards push. This target here is the same and at 12,837.41 points, wave C orange will reach equality with wave A orange. So that may be where this B wave ends. Wave B may not move beyond the start of A because A is subdivided to a 5. This would be a zigzag. It may not move above 12,876 points. So movement above that point would invalidate this alternate and confirm the main wave count. So I'm expecting upwards movement tomorrow from the Dow. When that main wave count is confirmed and the alternate invalidated, then I'll have another alternate where the degree of labelling is only different. That's all for me today with your Dow analysis and I hope that everyone else is having a fabulous day.